Sam will be signing with the University of Pittsburgh. She's a three-year letterman for GHS. She is a catcher, outfielder, second baseman, and more. In my opinion, she's the ultimate utility player and has been described as a Swiss Army knife type of player. She played second base last year upon my request and has also spent some time playing at third for a select team. However, playing catcher is her love. She's someone who hits for high average, provides power, is an, and is a threat on the bases with her speed. Sometimes I feel like she gets overlooked in our lineup, but I cannot say enough good things about Sam. She's a coach's player and acts as a glue for our team. She is another one of our leaders, is respectful, kind, consistent, selfless, works hard, is dependable, and never complains when she's asked to do something. As a junior, she was a District 25-5A second team all-district selection and academic all-district. At this time, I'd like to welcome Kat Osterman to speak on her behalf. <laughs> um, I'm honored to speak on Sam's behalf. Uh, as Coach Hall mentioned, I think most of you guys probably know where the second baseman or outfielder. Um, I'm already crying. I started crying when he was talking. I was on the back there already in tears. Um, but you guys know where the Swiss Army is. The man we got as a catcher. Um, I got to meet her about two years ago um, as a catcher. She has religiously, um, this is not how emotional, sorry. She has religiously come to lessons with uh, your junior pitchers, Randy Franklin and Kimber Krieger. Krieger, sorry, she had a very kind of um, But she's come to their lessons religiously for the last two years. And uh, I've gotten to know Sam. I do think she likes my husband like, more than me, because she always asks me, where is Mr. Joey? And I thought she was hoping he could be here today, but he's a college golf coach, so unfortunately he couldn't be here. But in the two years I've gotten to know Sam, the fact that she will sacrifice her passion as a catcher to do whatever this program needs her to do. Shows how selfless she is. And, sorry. And I've gotten to actually be her coach this past fall with the Bombers. Um, she was on our 16 U team last year, but she's with us um, on the 18 U team now. And we do the same thing to her, unfortunately. As much as I think Randy and Camry would love to have her go ahead and play, um, she gets put whenever we have a hole. And I think this fall we've seen second base, third base, outfield. I think there was a point in time Scott might have been talking to put her at first base, and I was like, mm, let's, there's, a strip, there's a line somewhere. I'm waiting for the day she asks me that she can pitch. Um, I'll tell her it'll be the same day the camera gets to hit. So, um, but she's selfless, but at the same time has a passion for this game and for her team, no matter which team it is, that she'll do whatever it takes. And if it means she moves down the lineup, if it means she's just hitting, if it means I tell her, hey, take a break, but by the way, your break means you're warming everybody up, she'll do it. Um, and, but at the same time, she always is striving to be the best. And she's doing that on and off the field, obviously. When she told me she was a power lifter the first time, I said, you're a what? <laughs> but, you're a little thing. But she puts everything into everything she does. So she wants to be the best power lifter because she knows that strength helps her in the softball field. She wants to be the best catcher, and even though she knows here at Georgetown she's not going to catch, she still asks the questions to know what, what do Maddie and Kimberly need? What, how can I help them when I'm not catching, when I'm in the field? Um, what are the things you know I can look for? And she asks the hard questions, and she's constantly working on it. Um, and then she just loves the game. I don't think there's ever a time I haven't seen a smile on her face. Even after uh, the long days, I mean, they come down to uh, St. Marcus after hours of high school practice once a week, and she's always in tow with one of them, and she might be exhausted with any smile on her face, and um, I think, you guys, she's going to do great things at Pitt. She's down here already. She'll go in the summer with us the Bombers, but um, your work ethic, your passion, your selflessness, sorry. I didn't have a baby coming this one day out. <laughs> um, but it's all going to lead you to big things. Pound for pound, you are one of the strongest and best softball players I can see. Everybody don't have to talk next year. <laughs> um, but I know you're going to do great things, and I hope your senior year goes out for me. Congratulations. On behalf of Coach Scott, we love you guys.
time saying we sign. Congratulations again to all four of our seniors. You're all deserving and we look forward to seeing you compete at the next level. At this time, we're going to go ahead and continue with the fellowship portion of our ceremony. So all I ask is for pictures first. I would like the team to get a picture with all four girls up front. 